Welcome to Variant One Shot. Vibranium is one of the strongest metals in the Marvel Universe. Approximately 10,000 years ago, a large meteorite composed of vibranium crash landed in Wakanda. The natives would call this the Sacred Mound and studied the mined metal for centuries. But the existence of vibranium has only recently been made public in the 1980s, although rumors have been around for many, many years. Dr. McLean, a young scientist, came into contact with a small amount of vibranium in the early 1940s. McLean's early experiments with the material were initially unsafe successful. He would later make a vibranium iron alloy mix which had an unidentified catalyst that resulted in an incredibly durable and near invulnerable metal alloy. The resulting vibranium iron alloy would be poured into a tank hatch cover mold and the resulting concave disc would eventually be made into Captain America's shield. McLean's repeated attempts to recreate this substance led to the creation of another incredibly durable alloy known as adamantium, which is not as immutable as Captain America's shield but it's still a remarkable metal alloy all on its own. Then we have a different type of vibranium which was subsequently discovered in the savage land of Antarctica many years ago by Lord Robert Plunder. This isotope had widely different properties and although officially known as Antarctic Vibranium, its power to liquefy metal has resulted in most referring to it as antimetal. As you just heard, there's two different types of vibranium, so let me elaborate on them a little bit more, starting with Wakandan Vibranium. Wakandan Vibranium has the unique property to absorb sound waves as well as kinetic energy by somehow storing this energy within its molecular bonds. The more energy it absorbs, the stronger the molecular bonds become until the vibranium is extremely difficult to damage or destroy. This makes vibranium highly prized for its durability. Although not as dense as adamantium, few other substances can equal in its durability. In addition, vibranium is more easy to shape and manipulate than adamantium and remains unsurpassed in its ability to absorb impacts and to absorb noise and sound. Although vibranium is extremely difficult to destroy, it is not impossible. There is an upper limit to the amount of energy vibranium can safely absorb. However, this is yet to be determined. Then we have the second form of vibranium from Antarctica. With in the Savage Land and it's known as Antarctic Vibranium. Unlike the Wakandan version, this type does not absorb sound waves or kinetic energy, but instead generates a unique vibration that breaks down the metals that are in close proximity to it. As I said earlier, a single piece of Antarctic Vibranium can reduce any metal into liquid or close to it. Because of this unique property, it has been more commonly referred to as antimetal. Now I know I said there's only two versions of Vibranium, but there's also a wannabe version called Reverbium. This is an artificial variant of Vibranium. This variant is in perfect, so rather than absorbing vibrations, it does the opposite and blows everything away. And lastly, you probably want to know some uses for vibranium, and don't worry, I got you covered. You have Captain America's shield, which is partly composed of vibranium, then you have Avengers Tower, which is reinforced with vibranium laced concrete. You also have Warpath, who wields a pair of vibranium daggers given to him by Storm. Then Agent Zero has vibranium armor, and Black Panther is able to absorb most impacts due to the vibranium sewn into his uniform. And in Avengers Age of Ultron, Ultron's final form is made of vibranium, even though in the comics it's usually adamantium, but I guess that's what happens when Fox has the rights to X-Men. But just like that, my friends, you now know more about vibranium.